in trouble. What kind of trouble? My father's a private investigator. I wouldn't ask you to do something that was dangerous. Some men are after him. Appendix. Dad must have had it for a reason. Something's missing. Thing on a chain. He took it. I'm from the Bramble Bay Courier, but that's not a local rag. We made the city newspaper. When we get back to the city, I have to find Dad. What I really need to do is get a copy of my birth certificate. Sing it on the list. We've got one month before school starts. Okay. Coast is clear. You sound like a conspirator. <sighs> Me conspire, come on. Master Warwick, what will the neighbours think? <sighs> that young Warwick, fifth girl this week. You wish. You can use this room. It's got Christine's things in it. That's okay. I'll climb over them. <laughs> um, my room's just there. Bathroom, toilet, anything else you need, just ask. Yeah, it's fine. Christine's nice, I can tell. I would have liked to have had a sister or a brother. You can borrow me. I already have. What's piquing your curiosity? Burglary or real estate? Peter Driscoll. Yeah, reported with the City Star. I uh, got your address from the local paper. Sports reporter? Uh, amongst other things. I'm following the story on Oigany Sandler. That phone's engaged. Probably off the hook from, you know. The breaking. Yeah. Yeah. Dad and I never had this. What you've got. Did you want to? I suppose. Must have been hard after school. And I came home to Mum, tell her about my day. Go home to an empty house. Yeah, usually. The worst was running. Just 
So you don't have email. So I'm chasing Wigani, her uh, story. Chasing her, eh? Hot pursuit, is it? Not following it up for our city readers. It's already been in the city press. Different angle. So she's not about, is she? You've just missed her. They've gone to Shelley Beach. It's that way. Bedford House, we're not talking right now. We'll leave that to you. So here's your cue. Warwick, my boy. If you're there, something has arisen. Uncle Harry, hi. At your place. Yeah, we've seen him. He's a cop. A reporter, hey? Yeah, all right, Uncle Harry. Hey, and thanks for letting us stay at your place. It was very cool. Okay, bye-bye. McGurney in Bramble Bay. Looking for us. You. How long do you think it takes? Dunno. Never had to get a birth certificate before. Well, you know your mother. He's hoping I find out who mine is. Okay, come on. Eugenie Sandler? Yes. You sure you're born in Victoria? Well, that's what it says in my passport. Birthplace Melbourne. Well, the computer says you're not one of ours. Maybe we could try the passport office? Yes, that have cited Georgian documents. Check there, then come back, OK? Wade Savage? I thought this would be easy. I always imagined coming here to get a new passport, not to find out who I am. Got a bad feeling. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the city. Ran into that young friend of yours. Well, isn't that lucky? You um, you want me to say hi? No, 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 no. We'll make it a party. Play a few games like hide and seek. Yeah. More the merrier. Hey? Party's at your place. I'll be there. But keep that a surprise. Policeman. Look, there's a question about this passport. What sort of question? Well, for a start, it was issued all right in 1984, but it wasn't issued to Eugenie Sandler. Not to me. See? This number. <laughs> Security! Five stairs! Why are we running? The passport's fake! Two kids on the way down. Lift or stairs. Check both. <laughs>
we should plunge in SKL. I wonder who owned the passport before you did. Why don't you go back and ask? Uh oh. I know this guy. We know this guy. Okay, we take it nice and easy. There's a law against this. And there's one against spitting. So shut it! Hey, look at this. We're having a party. Get them in the back. Now! There's no shifting it. Don't try. Come sit down. I'm sorry for dragging you into all this. I could have bowed out days ago if I wanted to. Why didn't you? I've seen a fake passport. Sheltered life. Look, it says you went into the Soviet. And then you came out again. Back into Australia. Mm -hmm. well, but there's no outward snap. You know, like when you leave a country. This is fake too. The Vesavian inward stamp. Yeah, it's done with a pen. Like little dots. Maybe I wasn't born in Melbourne. Yeah, it's inside. When's our friend Matt Gurney coming? Before he gets here, anything is paying you, I can top it. Yeah? letting you go, okay? I'm not asking that. What then? Just ring Teresa Brady. She's a detective constable. Tell her we're here. Ring Teresa Brady. So what if I take this money and run? My dad has a name for guys who do that. And I have a name for people who waste money. Governor Skaya! Governor Skaya! She was there, Governor Skaya! Don't give me was, give me is! There is another man. Oh, policeman. Uh, tall, sympathetic face, blue eyes. Policeman? Uh, looking for her. Gurney. It must be Gurney. Beb, Paul, here. Forget the deadline. It is imperative that I have her now. Yep. The party's at our place. All set for a reunion, then? Yeah. All set. And, um, you'll fix my medical condition. What condition's that? That'd be my fear of confined spaces, like I really hate being shut in. I'll fix it. Now, you and your mates get lost. Got your orders? Like a good little boy? Yeah. We split. already tried that. I was born optimistic. Wait. Well, I was born who knows where, Warwick. Well, at least you're here. I mean, you're sort of alive.
Police Central Branch, Senior Constable Chekhov speaking. Theresa Brady, she's a detective. I'll put you through. Theresa, some kid for you. I got a call from... Th oh, we've met before. Yeah. It's Eugenie. Yeah. What's been going on here? Some guys fooling around. Locked us in a room. There was some acid spilled. It came under the door. Accident? I don't think so. But we didn't see it being done. Any idea how it happened? Any idea who? You're not going to believe me. Try me. There's this policeman. Oh, he's acting as if... Seems to be working for himself. And does this policeman have a name? Matt Gurney. You're accusing a copper. You didn't say of trying to kill you. Yeah. <coughs> Fresh air is nice. I still feel a bit gaseous, though. You can stand downwind. Not that kind of gaseous. It was a good thing you did back there, Tony. So, can I hang around with you guys? Join your gang? We don't have a gang. Just two of us. Besides, there's some heavy stuff happening in my life at the moment. I don't want you getting mixed up in it. Hey, guys. I've got things to do. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, fine. And hey, watch out for that cop. Teresa Brady. No, the guy. He came out of there before I went in. Okay, we'll watch out for him. See you guys. See you, Tony. That stuff with the acid was really serious. Are we just going to let it go? No. Just postpone it. Where have you been, Sarge? On a case. Someone upstairs says you've been naughty with your radio switched off, eh? Hmm, yeah, must be on the fritz. I'll get it checked.
Come in. Inspector Brady, how can I help you? Sir, um... I wanted to ask about procedure, uh, about making a complaint against a fellow officer. Who's in the firing line? Hypothetical at this stage, but let's say it's somebody fairly senior. And hypothetically, you better dot every I and cross every T and have a good hard think about it. And after that? Well, come to that when it stops being hypothetical. Hmm. Thanks, sir. Matt Gurney. But why? He's a cop. He's supposed to be on our side. He must have done the acid thing. He could have turned on the gas at my place. Left that thing on the stove. Now he could have broken into your father's office. Easy. And into my place. Stole my photo. Not to mention a ransacking the place. Do you reckon he's working with the bread van guys? Who knows? No one's going to believe us anyway. Not even Tony. I mean, it's too far-fetched. It's our word against his. Unless we get evidence. But... I mean, he's got to have a reason. Okay. So... I'm an ordinary teenage girl. Only I don't exist. I don't know where I was born. My father's on the run and nobody cares that there's a crooked cop out to kill me. So what did Dad... Dad do 15 years ago? I care. I mean, I really care. Back there with the acid. I wasn't worried about me. I wasn't worried about me either. Only about what I got you into, Warwick. I need to go shower. to ourselves. Daughter in Europe, son away at Ken. Hmm? Mm. Oh, that report to write. Oh. Ian. There's someone there. What do you mean? Look, the curtains. Oh, no. 